Oh hey, Professor Pipette here, just practicing taking selfies because I've always thought photos were so cool. You see something you like and then snap, you have a photo of it. In fact, you might not realize it, but your eyes are kind of like a camera. Today, we're going to look at a special camera and discover more about how our eyes work. The special type of camera we're going to look at today is called a pinhole camera. We'll use this camera to see images formed on a screen. We'll then use a lens and see brighter and sharper images. This type of camera models the way a human eye works. In order to observe our pinhole camera further, we're going to need some supplies. To make the pinhole camera here, I used the following items. Two construction paper tubes, wax paper, black tape, and a thumbtack to make the pinhole. I'll need this magnifying glass for later on. You can see that there's a tiny pinhole at the end of our tube. This is a small hole to let a little light through. This is just like the light being let into your eye. This is where the picture will be taken. Now that we have our camera, let's talk a little about how it works. We're going to try to take a picture similar to the way our eyes see the world. We're going to look inside our pinhole camera at this lamp that has the color red on top and the color green below. Wow, did you see the image? Our pinhole camera has captured it. The image was formed when light travels outwards in all directions. When light from the sun hits an object, such as a person, the light reflects or bounces off the person and travels in all directions. Each ray of light keeps traveling in a straight line until it hits something else. Did you notice something interesting about the image? Yes, it was upside down. This is because the light that has come from a person's head will hit a part of the screen that's lower down. Light that comes from a person's feet will hit a part of the screen that's higher up. This means that there is an image seen on the screen. The image will be inverted and smaller. This is very similar to our eyes. The retina of the eye contains light receptors that convert the light into an electrical signal. This signal is passed along the optic nerve to the brain. It's the brain that interprets these signals as an image. Just like the pinhole camera, your eye cannot focus by adjusting the shape of its lens. When there's too much light, the image becomes blurry. This magnifying glass is just like the lens of your eye. Let's see how it affects the image seen through the pinhole camera. This is how the cornea and the lens of the eye focus light to form images on the retina at the back of their eyes. Notice it's so clear. Today we spoke a lot about how our eyes are similar to a pinhole camera. Similar to this camera, when light from the sun hits an object such as a person, the light reflects off the person and travels all around. It isn't good to have too much light entering your eyes, but you do need light to see. Less light typically means that the image we see is more in focus. Our brains help us see right side up. Well, now that I understand how this camera and my eyes work, I'm going to see if I can get a spectacular photo. See you later, science friends.